All right, welcome to our final episode from chapter 11. And in this episode, we're going to talk about how does the environment affect the phenotype? Because it's not only just the genes that determine what you look like, the environment can have an influence on that too. And we see this in human beings sometimes when you may be genetically predisposed to be very tall, but if you live in an area of the world where there's consistent famine, you're going to not going to get the nourishment that allows you to reach your full height potential. Okay. Now, out of our textbook, we have the example of the western white butterfly. And the western white butterfly, uh, depending if it's born in the spring or if it hatches in the summer, its wing color can be slightly different. Now, in the springtime, the days are shorter, temperatures are a little cooler, and so it's a little bit harder for the butterfly's wings to, to dry out and fully form so it can take flight after it, it hatches. Okay. So as you can see here, in this picture, you got these little bit darker black spots on its wings. Now, the reason that those are there is because black is going to absorb more of the sun's energy, and that'll help dry out the wings. Now, in the summertime, the days are longer, the temperatures are higher. It's a little bit easier for those wings to dry out on their own. So as you look over here in this picture, their wing colors are more of a brown, because it doesn't have to absorb that extra energy from the sun because it's plenty warm out for that thing to dry. Okay, So as you can see here, the environment has affected the phenotype. In the springtime, a darker black spotches are on their wings. And in the summertime, a browner or lighter color of spotches are going to be on their wings. So it's not necessarily just the genotype that determines your phenotype, but the environment can have a great influence. Okay, And that'll wrap it up for this series. So until our next chapter, we're going to catch you on the flip side.